Indeed, good evening, Linda. It has elicited great debate on social media, a lot of tweets uh, and posts on Facebook as well around this subject. And in fact, um, one Kenyan taking to Twitter to say they do not have a job, they do not know how they'll start um, to make any payment. And what was interesting is the response from the HELB uh, Twitter account saying that uh, come and see us and we can discuss a mode of payment. And after that, many Kenyans poking fan at the response because on one one hand, this individual says they do not have a job, they'd want to pay but cannot, and help responding, come and we discuss a mode of repayment. So the question was, with what? How do you uh, pay back? And in fact, one person saying, do you want to, him to pay with what? Body parts, with his blood? You know, just really trying to make sense of what uh, kind of engagement that is. But that Aside, uh, the help uh, talking about 6.5 billion shillings is what they need to recover to be able to continue supporting other uh, Kenyans uh, with their college or university education, saying that there are those out there who are able to pay, they are not paying, um, and therefore this move that they are seeking to take. And remember, Linda, a while back, again, another threat, it appears that is the way to get movement or action, if at all, um, help had uh, threatened to list the defaulters on the CRB, the credit uh, uh, Red Bureau, and at the time, again, after the time they'd given lapsed, only about 1,800 Ke Kenyans had actually started making their payments. So as to the efficacy of this kind of warning or threats is one we'll wait to see. But let's hear from the Mbakasi East Member of Parliament, Babu We know he was a student leader. This is an issue he's well versed with. Thank you for making time for us. Um, I wonder what you make of this warning to name and share the defaulters, 85,000, that's a huge number. What do you make of it all? I think uh, Sophie, the CEO help, is just joking around with Kenyan citizens. As a student leader, these are matters that I would have uh, talked about and dismissed. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm still a comrade either way. Once a comrade, always a comrade. And uh, they say that a comrade is always right and a comrade is never wrong. So those who paid and those who, are, who, who have not paid uh, the help, mm -hmm. the help loans, they're all equal. In my own thinking, uh, I think that uh, that uh, the loans should not be repaid. Number one, education is a fundamental human right, as enshrined, envisaged in the apex of the law, that is the Constitution, mm -hmm. promulgated in 2010. So I tend to believe that this is a right that the government gives to its Kenyan citizen. The government has a right to educate its Kenyan citizens, and I believe that if the president himself uh, wrote off loans for the coffee farmers, then 6.5 billion Kenya shillings can be written off by the same president. Let President Uru Kenyatta come clear, let him come out, because there are no jobs. People <coughs> finish university, they graduate. The graduates themselves are not having any jobs. So this, the, one, of the, the, one of the graduates who said that should they pay these loans using their body parts, I think he was very right, because what will they use? You can note there's, a, there's something in law that says that uh, it is uh, the Nemodat quote a bad rule that says that you cannot spend what you don't have. If they don't have the money, where will they get the money to pay these loans? Mm -hmm. So I believe that help is just joking. Maybe they just want to... To, to threaten the defaulters to pay because within, the, within a specific period of time they shall have collected certain amount of money. First of all, it is a breach of the privacy of the Kenyan citizens to publish these names on a newspaper. And believe you me, we are, I've, I've already talked to, my, to the lawyers who are going to, to file an injunction to ensure that help CEO together with the help officials will not publish the names and the pictures, photos mm. of the help defaulters, because yeah. it is not their mistake not to pay these help loans. Yeah, but Mishmua, let me interject there. You had a help loan. Have you paid yes. yours, for and instance? And I will not pay. What do you mean you will not pay? Because I was called to come and uh, uh, acquire knowledge at the University of Nairobi. It is the work of the government to pay for my education. They promised us free primary education. They did. They promised us high free high school education. And university should be free. In fact, university should be made free. But it is so not. So the fact that the help, and you know university students suffer a lot at the university level, the help averagely, they give 40,000 Kenya shillings, of which 28,000 goes to a uh, school fee. You remain with 12,000 Kenya shillings. 12,000 per year, you spend 1,000 per month. 
What about per day? Around 30 shillings. But so this is not sufficient for a normal university student. Number one, before they ask for these loans, they should review HELB upwards. The last time HELB was reviewed was in 1998 where the highest person gets around forty to 50,000. Then after the reviewing the help in 98, the living standards, the living conditions has been rising. The, the, uh, the, the cost, of life, cost of living has been rising every year, but the help is constant. But let's, so, let's separate issues here. On one hand, there are those who took the loans and they do not have jobs, so there is a case for they cannot pay, yes. not that they do not want to pay. Yes. But yourself and others who are capable who are drawing a salary, and the way this works is you pay so that they can support others. Isn't it dishonesty? Because when you took that loan, it was on the it's a loan basis that I it will be repaid. So aren't you and those others who have uh, been uh, have taken this loan then come turning around say we won't pay being dishonest and unfair to those others who would benefit by the same? You see, this money is uh, this money does not belong to the government. This is the taxpayers' money. Number one, this is not a loan that we got from China. This is money that is rightfully ours because it is our tax taxes that is educating us. So there is no problem by the government educating its own citizens. In return, the citizens will invest in its own country and give fresh ideas and ensure that the, the nation grows. As we always say, that when you open the doors of a, of a classroom, the doors of a school, the doors of a university, you close the doors of a prison. So it's, it's very simple. So let, let this loan, let this money, me, uh, what I can advise these uh, comrades not to pay this money. Why? Because an average comrade who has first class honors like myself and works in a bank, for example, or in any other company, earns around 40,000 Kenya shillings, for example, Atella. 40,000 Kenya shillings, when it's taxed, it goes to around 33,000 Kenya shillings. 33,000 Kenya shillings help will take between five to 10,000. We remain with 23,000. 23,000, you want to buy clothes, you want to buy food, you want to pay your rent, you want to pay transport. When will you grow? You'll be living the same year every time till you die. Mm -hmm. So it is the work of this government to ensure that these loans are written off. So um, uh, my prayer, my plea to the president of this nation is to write off these loans and ensure that every person who graduates within a period of, uh, within a period of one year, if this person has no job, then those loans should be written off automatically. Mm -hmm. If this person have a, has a job that is paying over 100,000, that is when we can start negotiating for the repayment. But like yourself now, yes. when you're not paying, you're definitely money, earning way over that. My you money is very important. Very easily and comfortably my money is very the loan you took. <laughs> Sophie, yes. my money is very important and urgent in paying other people's school fees within the constituency. So my money... In fact, I, do, I never receive any money because I already made uh, a contract, an agreement with the, the very needy people from my constituency. And also this so money is not necessarily, it's not going to anybody's pocket. It's going as it supported you and so other Kenyans who are beneficiaries, again, to get education. Let me tell so, you what happens. Yes. Let me tell you what happens. Mm -hmm. Within HELP, you know why HELP delays in the first place? Yes. HELP delays because the people within HELP, HELP officials always want to make profit, interest out of this. For example, if help is uh, help to be dispersed, to be dispersed within a period of a month, mm. uh, is, uh, for example, two billion in the whole nation. So two billion, when you leave it for a period of two months to earn interest, that is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So these people deliberately delay the disbursement of help to mm. earn this interest. Where does this interest go to? We have to start from there. Yeah. So uh, in my opinion, uh, it is not about getting that help to enable others study. That help has always and constantly been there because there's a budget that is always given from the taxpayer's money every financial year that goes direct to help. Mm -hmm. So it is not a matter of paying back to enable others be given help. So far, 6.5 billion has not been paid, okay? But help is still being given. Where is this money coming from? Because it was budgeted for, for this financial year using the taxpayers' money. But it's also budgeted for with an indication with how they'll calculate the time of period of time it takes for people to go through their, uh, whether it's um, university or college education, and the repayment so that it cannot be a bottomless pit. Can we now not talk about then solutions going forward? If, for instance, you're proposing then free university, college education, is that sustainable? 
It's very sustainable because uh, the amount of money that is lost in this nation in terms of uh, corruption, the amount of money that is going to individuals' coffers, it's too much. This, this money, when it's put together, it's sufficient mm. to educate Kenyan citizens because the number of students in all the universities, the number of students in all the universities in this nation uh, between first year to fourth year, they are around uh, between uh, a million. They are, they are around a million mm. if they are much, if there are, if, if are so many. It's around a million people. So a million comrades, it's using this money that is being lost from different coffers, money that is being borrowed from uh, different countries, money that the taxpayers are paying. The government should ensure that it only, it, it, it only uh, concentrates on all these monies to educate the Kenyan citizens. Mm -hmm. these, these are the comrades who are in the universities. So I tend to believe that uh, this idea of saying that Kenya has no money is no good. The other day we increased taxes for Kenyans. What, do, what, what does that mean? If we increase taxes and we, then we don't increase help for the students, mm -hmm. the same help is given. It means that some money is disappearing somewhere. Yeah, but still, the solution in as far as when you see help resorting mm -hmm. to threats, um, there was a concern around arrests some time back and then the CRB listing, and then now talking about putting this, uh, the names and photos of these individuals in the local papers. It speaks to almost a lack of clear-cut procedures and formula to recover this money. So what, in your view, because as it stands, it's the law that people need to pay back, including you, yourself, what needs to happen? You know, you cannot recover what, what people don't have. But some have. So... Like yourself. We have established that. Okay. If I have myself, they could be taking some money yeah. every month, mm -hmm. you see? And uh, I always ensure that when my money comes in, I send them directly to where they are needed, where it should be spent rightfully. Mm -hmm. That is in different colleges, different high schools, to pay for the uh, fee uh, for the less fortunate in my, within my constituency. Mm -hmm. So I believe that, uh, I think that the help in itself, mm -hmm. they should come up with measures not to ensure that these students that they educate are paying them nothing. Mm -hmm. Then they should, they should partner with the companies within the nation. They should partner with various, uh, various uh, companies within Kenya mm -hmm. to ensure that immediately the students graduate. The students graduate. They are absorbed in various fields. Mm -hmm. They are absorbed in various companies so that at least, number one, they create opportunities, job opportunities for these students. Once they are absorbed, we can talk of how help should be repaid. Mm -hmm. But if I were the president of this nation, mm -hmm. I would write off this help so that everything starts afresh. Yeah. Because it's easier for him to do so if he's been doing so to other farmers like the coffee farmers. He did. He wrote off so many billions of shillings. Mm -hmm. Then he can do so to just the help the voters. Yeah. Finally, the concern of unemployment, because that's the big one, that uh, there is still a vast majority of youth, especially young people, who do not have uh, a job, who are trying to make ends meet. And even those with it is, uh, a study has found largely in the informal sector. As leaders in parliament, what needs to happen to make sure that we're not just having conversations of, yes, you're educating, but today we saw the KCP results, but after that, then what? I think uh, once we fight cor corruption conclusively, mm. then we use the money that is being wasted to create job opportunities, to create employment for Kenyan citizens. Uh, we created, uh, there's this uh, bill that was passed by Honorable Johnston Sakaja, the mm. one for the National Employment Authority. Yes. The one that they nominated Wamboy, mm. which was still a mistake. You cannot elect somebody who is not, uh, you know, <laughs> the idea for the idea for looking for jobs for other people, for the graduates, for the graduates or the graduates, is to get a person who fails them, a person mm -hmm. who's passed through the same process. I don't know where one boy studied. I don't know what she studied. Mm -hmm. So she's not qualified. She's underqualified for that position. Mm -hmm. So the court did a very good thing to actually nullify the appointment. Mm -hmm. So you look at uh, as a body like a National Employment uh, Authority being there, but there is no job. Actually, I came to learn about it just last year, mm -hmm. that it exists. And I'm sure that many Kenyans didn't know that, that, that such a body exists. Yeah. So I think that uh, the government should work on creating employment, employment with citizens. Once a comrade goes to first year at any university, by the time the, the student finishes the fourth year, the government should know that this student will be absorbed in a specific field. Mm -hmm. There's no need of bringing uh, Chinese to work in this nation. You want to construct a road, then you get the prisoners from China to come and help in the construction of the roads because the labor is cheap. 
Meanwhile, we have engineers in Kenya. Our engineers are used to maintain roads and sweeping the roads. They even criticize that they can't manufacture razor blades. They can't manufacture toothpick. That toothpick is, toothpick is written that is made in China. <laughs> so why are we educating our citizens? We import doctors from Cuba. Yet we have doctors in the nation. We have people who are doctors but are not practicing just because they cannot get an opportunity. So let the government know that the moment a student is called uh, to any university, this student, by the time they are clearing their fourth year, mm. they are four years of study at the university, whether it is five for engineering or six for medicine, then it should be known that this student will be absorbed in a different, in a specific field. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call all the graduates, all the graduates in this nation very soon. Uh, there will be a rally at Uhuru Park, or if we change the venue, I will communicate. We, they will come with their certificates, and I'm going to invite the president of this nation to come and address those comrades who have no jobs. And I will ensure and communicate to my parliamentarians, to members of parliament, to ensure that every company within their constituency offers job opportunities to these graduates. Mm. Failure to which we are going to give our demands on what we will do next. Okay. Yes. All right, Sawa. Thank you very much. We'll wait to see uh, the invitation to this rally <laughs> yes. uh, that you say will be in coming days. So, Honorable Babu, we know MKC is member of parliament this evening on one hand saying he will not pay, asking others he calls comrades not to pay.